Okay, guys. So now this is my second attempt to see if I could get it to work. I did put uh, say I did put uh, thermal grease this time. However, what may fail, I'm anticipating what may fail because this is not an even surface. And I couldn't get all, as I said in my previous video, I couldn't get all this surface of the Peltier to touch all the surface of the Hastings. So this is for this reason it may fail. And another reason why it may fail is because you compare the, previ <coughs> the previous one, the one I have here, you can see you can see this one. Um, everything is screwed in, you know. I screwed in everything with this one. So the Peltier plate is actually pressed. <coughs> the Peltier plate is pressed in very tightly. Whereas with this one, this is my first time I try this. I just want to see if it will work. I'm trying the thermal thermal tape. Okay. May, it may come off as the heat advances, increases, I mean. It may it may stay stuck to it, but it's not pressing in as hard also, like the previous one, right? So we'll see. Let's give it a shot. Now we have about 12 volt. Let's see, I want to feel. Feel. Oh, it's getting cold. I could feel it. It's getting cold. Okay. So, I'm getting 12, 19, 16, so it's working so far. 17, so the thermal grease is an important component. You cannot skip it. <laughs> Let's see here, what's the temperature on the heat sink? The temperature on the heat sink is about, it's increasing, right? 38, 30 something. No, but I'm interested in this temperature for now. Holy shit, it's not working. It's starting to get hot, is it? Maybe. Not too hot though. Okay, let's see. I'm really worried now. It's not working. This heat sink is not working, guys. Well, I don't feel it getting hot. This The heat sink is not even getting hot. But the Peltier is getting hot on both sides. <laughs> so, failed experiment again. Uh, so, I don't think this is gonna work, this heat sink ever. Even I'm pressing it with all my hand, full might. Okay. Pressing with all my might. Okay, so. This heat sink is not dissipating heat at all. So does it work? I could feel it getting hot a little bit, but not too much. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see the temperature. Is increasing. Not too much. So that means it's not conducting heat efficiently, this heat sink failed experiment for sure all right so now this is supposed to cool down it's actually not all right since i got you guys to watch all this with me we're gonna switch tactics okay all right so we're gonna try something else we're gonna try this heat sink right now Remove everything and try that heat sink instead. I want to see if, if the heat sink is the issue. Okay. If it is, that means it's garbage. It will, you can't use this aluminum shit. Okay. So. As you guys can see. This is the grease I use. Okay, well, I'm gonna use now this heat sink as a control to see if the issue is really with the heat sink, not another variable. 
Okay, so let's do this together. Let's do this together. Uh, I'm going to have to use more of that grease. <coughs> it could be the fan also because you have to have, a, like, use the same setup I used with the other one. You know, like, you have to have a fan attached to the heatsink. I mean, that fan behind is not providing enough. Uh, it's not providing. enough uh, ventilation so that could be also the issue there okay but hey we're experimenting that's what the whole experiment is about could fail or could work you know some people may have similar thoughts as me and they want to try this you know i save them time so yeah, time and effort so yeah so let's do this so this time i don't want to use yeah let's not use the thermal tape I'm just gonna use this like that as such because i think it's attached it's fully attached so it shouldn't be an issue i don't want to waste too much time on my video all right so what we're gonna do is attach the voltage and let's get this started Uh. All right. So let's move up, move back the camera a little bit, so you guys can see. All right. Let's see. I started it, twelve volt, and let's see. Is it gonna work? Without the fan, okay? At, attached to the AC. I think maybe this could be the reason why it didn't work the previous time. Alright, we will see. Getting cold a little bit and fluctuating. I don't know if it's something to do with this uh, thermal gun. Let me feel with my hand actually just to see if the heat thing is getting hot. Is it? Oh, slightly. Uh, yeah, it's cold. Still cold. Peltier plate is cold at least. All right. So guys, um, that heat sink. So the heat sink I DIY doesn't provide any functionality whatsoever. It just failed. So it looks like the heatsink is the problem. See if this is getting close to eight, four, three. That's good. I'm reaching three so far. Five degree. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Why is it jumped to twenty-five degree now? Okay, okay. Okay, so you get the point, guys. You get the point. So it's 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 cooling down, okay. But yeah, it's cooling down, and I could feel it cold, cold as ice, okay. I could feel the coldness. I could feel the heat of the heat sink. Whereas with this one. I could feel that I felt the heat a little bit, but not as much as this. So I know it's not conducting as much heat. What could be the problem? Again, it could be because the surface is not straight, or another issue it could be because it's not as effective as conductive as this one is supposed to be. But if I try to add more cans in here make it more make more folding from the inside it may work better in conducting heat but i don't know maybe it's the material i mean this is supposed to be an aluminum heat sink so it's the same material this is aluminum this is aluminum so they should work the same way right theoretically but this is thicker 
thicker and bigger so it probably contacts heat better i'm not sure so yeah thanks guys thanks for watching i'll keep you updated